Fun loving well, couples. I just got to reiterate. I mean, that's that's gold nuggets right there. And look, you know, like we've talked about before, travel, eat well, work out, have fun. You won't get to any of that stuff uh, if you're not focusing and working on that. And I know Dr. Eddie said it's not work, uh, but you know what I'm saying. And look, uh, the points that you've made, uh, every one of them, I think, could be another topic for another 20, 30 minute conversation. I love it. I love the energy. I love your insight to what you're talking about. You're eloquently presenting things. And so, men, I'm just going to challenge you right now. Uh, look, even if you don't reach out to Dr. Eddie Weller, find someone that you can talk to about this stuff. Figure out how you can fix things. And I promise this much. It's kind of like a billboard we saw for some sex toy shop. I'm not advocating sex toys, but I am saying it's a lot cheaper to fix this than to get divorced. Oh, tell me about it. And yeah. more importantly, the money is not even the important thing. The, the, the most important thing, like you just pointed out, is the collateral damage, especially yeah. to the kids when you both split. That's exactly right. I mean, it's my kids. When I come home. You know, I might have a five and seven year old. Daddy's home, daddy's home, right? And I come on in, hey guys, and here they come, right? And they run to the back door and they give me a hug, give me a hug, right? And I go, I put my hands up and I say, who gets first kiss? And they're like, mama does. Mm -hmm. and I, nice. walk on, I walk to my wife, give her a hug and a kiss. Now I grab the kiddos. They always know she is my number one. Right on. That's, I mean, a lot of marriages need that because. I mean, as you point out, it's always the kids are first, especially when they're little. I mean, they're needy when they're infants, of course, but then at a certain age, I mean, even five and seven, I mean, they need to know that, that they need to understand that. And, and, I, truly believe, and I truly believe if you don't take care of you first, you're good for nobody or no thing. And so it's, you know, it's not an ego thing. It's a serving thing. I have to make sure that I'm healthy, strong, and vibrant so I can serve and take care of those that I love. And Couples aren't doing that. If they're not on the same page of, like that, you know, one's exercising, the other one's at McDonald's. One's going to church, and the other one just you know, hangs out and does porn. Help me here. You know what I mean? There's going to be, there has to be a split. Are we on the same page? Grow a vision together. Write down what you want together and work towards that, and you'll thrive. That's awesome. And I mean, it's just fascinating how it all ties into it. Like you were saying, getting weller. So, you know, your mind, your body, your relationships, I mean, all of that plays into it, your health. Yeah, I agree. And it's, you know, what is the most important thing in the world? I mean, Bill Gates, you know, look at this guy, all this money, Steve Jobs. I mean, look what happened to him. He died of pancreatic cancer. What happened? All of this money, you can't buy your health. And here's my thing. It's been given to you since birth. Your health has been given to you for free. It's like you started with an A, and if you don't take care of that, then you go to an A minus and a B plus and a B and a B minus. You lose it. It's like money. I can make, make, make money, and then what happens? I lose my health. So put your health ahead of money because when you're healthy, you can do the things you want to do. Nothing's wrong with money, but when you make it your number one, everything else falls to the wayside, including your love. So, hey, man, I guess got to chime in on that because uh, 2010, 2011 – we yes, had sir. some health issues, not us, but in the family, there were some health issues. Right. Uh, the stress, uh, the demands of the day, all this stuff. I blew up to almost 250 pounds, uh, wow. you know, and let alone all the aches and pains and, and the frustrations and not fitting into certain clothes. Look, I look right. in the mirror. I just don't like what the hell I see. So if I don't like it, how can my wife like it? Right. Uh, you know, and, and look, let's be clear. It, it wasn't easy and it doesn't uh, it doesn't stop. You got to work on it all the time. But I'm happy to say now that we work out somewhere between three to five times a week together. Uh, and it's uh, it's not marriage counseling. It's not relationship uh, uh, it's counseling. It's yeah. But that th the fact that we sweat together, there's some uh, uh, some vulnerabilities there together. Right. You know, we worked out last night and it was a killer one. We both were wiped when we were done. But, you know, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm glad that we did it then because uh, go back about a month ago, we got a little lax in our working out and we got a little lax in our eating. Both of us started wondering, why the hell do we feel like crap? Why are we so run down? Why are we in bed by 10 o'clock at night? Uh, and then we looked at it. You know what? We stopped eating well. We stopped working out. We stopped having fun. Got to get back on it and do it. So I agree with you. Got to take care of health. It's more important than, than the money. Oh, those, I always say those that sweat together stick together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> I, I like that one too. I'm going to I'm gonna have to steal some of these because so my equivalent to that was – uh, the couple that works out together gets stronger. And it's not bad, but I like does you, know, you sweat together, you stick together. That's a good one. Right, right. Maybe a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I recently did a talk uh, about this guy named George. And George comes in to see me. He's 92 years old. I'll never forget him. He's 92 years old. 
and he says, Doc, they've diagnosed me with cancer. This guy's strong. Walking around, you can't tell he's thriving. He owns a bunch of restaurants. He's Greek. They all do. And so he's right doing his thing, and he sits down with me, and he goes, I need one more year. I'm like, what's up? I'm like, you're 92. What's up? He goes, I'm worth $94 million. I have $94 million cash in the bank right now. I said, okay. He goes, I haven't lived a day in my life. He goes, I need one more year. He goes, they gave me three months. They say you can help me. I said, okay, so this is what we're going to do. I gave him a game plan for the first month. I said, this is what you're going to do. He played my game, and I said, then you're going to Greece because all Greeks go to Greece. So I said, to Greece. They do. They all vacation Greece. I said, I want you to go there and spend an obscene amount of money because all you hear, I bet, is how everybody in your family is going to spend your money. He goes, that's all they talk about. When I die, what are they doing with my money? I said, so is that the legacy you want to leave? Yeah, they spent your money. You worked hard. You lost your life to make theirs happier. Uh-uh. I'm not going that way. And that's what I tell them. I'm not going to lose my life for my children. And they're going to see me thriving and happy, whatever that means on my terms. Yeah. Define success. You know, I think couples have a hard time defining what is health, but define success and then define rich. What are those two? And so if you have to separate them, they're totally different. Because rich, I know rich people that are not successful. And they are miserable. And so what does success mean to you? Like, what do I have in my life that makes me successful? What's up? And then it just so happens that I have money in the same time, or I don't. Is money a priority to you? Is it not? We don't do that as a couple. So as a male, this is what I want. And as a female, this is what I want. And next thing you know, we say I do. We're going like this. Because we never got on the same page of how we define the things we want in our life. And, uh, always, 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 always. The love, seat, the love seat. Constant updates. What do you want? What do you need? What do you feel? Yes. Just awesome. Good stuff, man. Hey, look. So, um, how does someone find you if they want to learn more? Well, getting Weller, uh, gettingweller dot com. You, know, you don't want to get better. You want to get Weller. So, gettingweller dot com. And uh, I'm, right now, as I was telling you a little bit earlier today, with I'm speaking uh, across the country. There's been a ton of talks that I'm doing this month. And so anybody who's interested in having some sort of you know seminar, talk, event, not a necessarily a rah-rah, but tools and a game plan to give you a little plan of action of what you want in your life uh, when it comes to health and your relationships. So gettingweller.com is always the easiest way. You see some videos on me or just stalk me online. I've got videos. I own a studio. So this doesn't shut up. So I just shoot a <laughs> video. Yeah, hey, man. Uh, so uh, I got to ask a question because – uh, just being selfish for my own, and I'm sure that I represent other folks. I want to learn more and hear more. Can we invite you back and have you know go over some little, little deeper and some specific tools and process systems for people to to get weller? I think what would be neat. I would at first foremost be honored. I'd love that. But I think what would be neat maybe to create a one or two or three part series based on topic and stay really on point with topic, and we can show maybe a little keynotes or email some people some stuff that I've got already. Um, so that would be neat. Maybe we talk about a healthy body for 20 minutes and then a healthy you know, mind for 20 minutes and how your body reacts to your thoughts and then relationship or whatever you want to do. But I think it'd be great. You know what I really like is that vision for the, for the, for the marriage. Okay. I can. So, uh, I, can uh, I mean, all those are pertinent and valuable, but I actually want to see that for myself because like I said, we've been doing it, but uh, I'd like it to be, it could always be better. What am I not doing that we could be doing? So, I'd love to make that one of ours. Let's talk about that offline. Look, again, this is uh, Fun Loving Couples. Linda and Charles here with our great guest, Dr. Eddie Weller. I can't even go over all the nuggets. You're going to have to see it once we get done with the video and post it all up. But this man has uh, a unique approach to relationships that we all got to take a, take a vested interest in and uh, spend some time with. Yes, and awesome. we're honored that you joined us today. So thank you very much. I know it's flooding and raining where you're at, so. <laughs> It's all good. God's up to big things, so it's all good. Right on. Stay safe, and uh, we'll talk again soon, man. Bye-bye.